Okay, so um, what I've got here today is a um, an old uh, Apple Airport Express, which is showing the classic. Just to hopefully plug this in. You might just see it. Green flash, and then nothing, which says that the power supply side of this has gone. So um, what I'm going to have to do is change the power supply. Unfortunately. Uh, Apple, in their infinite wisdom, have made this an absolute bugger to open. So I can't just crack this open, fix it, and put it back together. I'm afraid it has to give, be dremeled out. So you have to dremel along this seam on this just so you can get the uh, uh, to get it open. So it is quite destructive. But what I'll do is I'll fix it and then put it into a different case um, because you know if, if all the electrics still work, then uh, I've got myself a tidy little. Uh, uh, Airport Express. I'm only really interested in this, the uh, headphone socket, but you know, having the extra um, USB port on the Wi Fi is kind of useful, I suppose. But uh, yeah, we'll get that sorted. Okay, so uh, after taking it apart, this is one half of it. Poor thing. Uh, I hate having to drum things apart. And uh, basically, uh, once I'd taken the power board out and uh, had a look, now this connector here which goes to the main board, uh, you're supposed to get um, ground is the first three pins, then there's five volt for one pin and two volts for 3.3. Now I had it plugged in and just on its own and tested the voltage, I was getting uh, five and 3.3 volts, so I thought, oh, there's nothing seems to be wrong. Then I plugged in the other half, which is, uh, I'll just go grab it. <sighs> the other half, which is the, uh, uh, the main unit, this is where it plugs into. Once I plugged it in, and I tested the voltage, I was still getting 5 volts, but the 3 volts had dropped off completely. So obviously under load, it's not working properly, which is why you get the green flash and then nothing. So uh, uh, having a little bit trace back on the 3.3 uh, line, I flip it over and I discover there's two capacitors here. They are 100 microfarad 10 volt capacitors. And, and then on, underneath all that gunk, They've done, I don't know if you can see, the bottoms have blown out on those capacitors. So it's a pretty good indication that these two capacitors, which I believe are uh, filter caps or something, that uh, they come off all this section underneath here is the 3.3 volt. So obviously uh, <coughs> these two have, have blown uh, through age and or whatnot. And uh, when the moment it goes under load, these caps fail and uh, the whole thing doesn't work. So hopefully... I'll just pick up a couple of new uh, 100 microfarad uh, 10 volt caps, put those in, and uh, we might have a successful fix without me needing to uh, do a new power supply. And I might even be able to put it all back together and just sort of tape it up. I don't know, <laughs> something like that. Okay, so I've uh, removed these two, and you can see, I don't, well, I don't know if you can see very clearly, but uh, the back ends of those blown out, and fortuitously, I had a couple of um, 100 uh, microfarad uh, 10 volt replacements. Uh, unfortunately these are 85, rated 85 degrees and these are 105 but uh, to be honest with you I don't think it really matters too much on this um, especially if I'm not going to put it back together together if I'm going to leave it open then it might not overheat too much but we'll see. Hopefully that's fixed it. Uh, let's test it. Okay so I've got it uh, reattached and uh, if I switch it on, green, amber, we are working. So there you go, another really simple repair. So there we have it, it is, oops, let's see if we can get that, the green light is definitely on. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> um, it's going to need a quite a lot of LX tape to stick that back together. But, oh well, it, it is working, and as you can hear, I've got it plugged into the similar box, and uh, there you go, it's running nicely, there you go, so, I have music playing where I want it, so yeah. Not bad for a couple of caps that I just had lying around. Yeah, I hate Apple sometimes. They really don't make it user-friendly. Uh, 
friendly to fix. Still. Job done. <laughs>